Hello, everybody, and good afternoon. Oliver Bade has already outlined in his presentation our strong position in life, the strategic transformation and the convergence to asset management. I want to show how Allianz Leben is implementing this strategy, building a very strong value proposition for policyholders and shareholders, a value proposition that is based on capital light products and reliable, steady growing dividends. Now let's start with some key facts. You can see that Allianz Leben is a core part of the life and health segment with an operating profit of 1.2 billion, around 25% so of the operating uh, profit of the segment and the value of the new business. In the German market, we are the clear market leader by size and number of customers. But very important, we are highly profitable with a return on equity of 13% and 700 million of dividends and a healthy solvency two ratio of 270%. Now Allianz Leben is focusing on three strategic pillars. The first one, continuous adaptation of the business model to the low interest environment. So Allianz Leben is focusing strongly on capital efficient products, which are really balancing the returns and the potential for the customer and stability and security. And we will grow our share of protection and health products. Second, shareholder value. We want to ensure shareholder value by again, steady growing dividends. Risk management and capital management is a key to that. And again, stabilizing the solvency to ratio. And the third one is we are part of the Allianz ecosystem. And we are helping to have a steady inflow, net inflow for asset management, for our asset managers. Allianz, as a long-term strategic investor, can really help to unlock the opportunity of alternative assets to the group and thereby at the same time embracing our targets for sustainability in investments. And we will further continue to build up digital platforms which can be used as shared assets in the group. Very important part of all that is looking at our Infos portfolio. And let's see that on the next chart, where you can really see how we match the enforced business, the guarantees, how we manage that. Now let's have a closer look. What you can see here is over a period of 30 years, in every, sec in every year, the net income, the current income of fixed income assets and real assets are higher than the cash flows from guarantees. What you can also see, if you do this over even longer time period, till 2080, there is a huge buffer left of 100, and 100 billion. A buffer that is available on the one hand for policyholder participation, but also for shareholder return. And the very nature of this buffer is that is absorbs volatility. So this market volatility does not meet anything harm or harm the company. Also very important, all guarantees are matched and fully funded, comfortably funded. We match duration of assets and liabilities and also very important, our average guarantees are about to decline strongly in the next years. For instance, to 2040, uh, 2025 to 0.9% and 2030 to 0.5%. But most important, this Infos book is, as Oliver mentioned, highly profitable. The return on reserves is 44 basis points. To compare it with the German industry without Allianz, it's about 20 to 25 basis points. So you see the superior 
profitability. Now, this strength, this financial strength, enables us to invest in a very attractive asset allocation. That's what you can see here. We have invested over 100 billion in alternative assets, infrastructure, real estate, private equity, and private debt. Now, here also we come to very close with our asset managers, Allianz and PIMCO. And you can see that we generate a lot of asset management fees, but most important, we create an uplift in our current yield of 40 basis points, a really impressive number. And this helps us to drive product innovation, to shape the market, but also to drive convergence of asset management and life. So let's have a closer look at our products and market approach. Product innovation is a key for Allianz Leben. And we have really introduced several new product categories with reduced guarantees who have a higher expected return while at the same time offering stability and security to our customers. And our ambition is till 2022 to have a protection level of 80% in the new business. So 80% of premiums paid in. Now, when it comes to the business mix, we also try to increase the share of protection and health products. If you look only at life, the average is about 15% in our new business. But we work very closely with our colleagues also from the Allianz Private Krankenversicherung to generate integrated solutions for private customers and corporate customers. If you would include also the health business in this portfolio view, we would be close to 30%. So I think this is also a very interesting and reliable number. And again, investment strategy, this is really adapted to the very low interest rate environment. We constantly improve and increase the share of alternative assets, giving us this uplift when it comes to our investment returns. So our ambition is for 2024 to have a new business margin above 3.5%. Now let's look a little bit closer to this evolution of our product innovations. What you see here in this chart is this, how we have managed this transformation in the last years. We come from a world with traditional products, with guarantees, and only investing in our general account. Now we have switched to modern innovative products. Products with reduced or no guarantees, really balancing returns for our customers and security and stability. What are the advantages? For the customers, this more flexible asset allocation helps them to generate higher returns. While we still can offer downside protection and very, in, very important as a USP for our industry, lifelong income. And we can combine that with attractive riders. For the shareholder, very important, these products are self-financing. That means from the moment they are sold, they are contributing strongly and very positively to our solvency to ratio. So what we can do is we drive self-financing growth. And we are generating higher new business margins with these innovative hybrid products. These products are also the basis for international factory, the product factory from Stuttgart to other countries. We have been already delivered products to Italy and Spain, and we will go to other EU, European countries. Now also very important is how we bring that to our customers. And in the next chart you can see like a little screen from our digital advisory tool. And I really liked it because what you can see here is that customers can learn and understand how they can balance returns and guarantees. In this example, it's InvestFlex, one of our hybrid solutions. 
The customer, for instance, can enter the guarantee level here, 90%, and then he sees what the part of the portfolio which really goes into equity investments, for instance, is, in this case, 30%. Now, if he is changing the guarantee level, for instance, now to 60%, you can see how this is increasing to 55%, giving him much better opportunities for higher returns. It has been really a journey to bring that to the market, but we have been very successful with that approach. So let's have a look to the next part, to our dividend. And this is in the core of this presentation. What I want to show is that given all the strengths you have looked at, our in-force management, the average guarantees going down, stable investment returns on the other hand, and, and this is very important, growing and expanding growing expense and risk results, which really balances and stabilizes our gross surplus, which we then can transform into dividends. And this is all highly resilient. Why? I have shown these enormous buffers that keeps away market volatility from the shareholder returns. These buffers helps to stabilize that. Even in an extreme test scenario as seen in 2008. So reliable, steady growing dividends are in the center of this value proposition. Now let's summarize that a little bit. I have already mentioned that we really focus on sustainable value creation for policyholders and shareholders. And we are doing this on the one hand by building on the core strengths of the company. Financial strengths, investment strengths, technical excellence. But we are also doing that by making usage of a unique collective business model. A business model where buffers from, and funds from policyholders help us to grow the business. They enable us, these buffers, to invest in attractive asset allocation, closing the loop of convergence of asset management and life. And this investment approach is also a core of our value proposition for our customers. In this way, we can increase our dividend base while at the same time limiting or reducing our risk exposure. Therefore, I think Allianz Leben has a strong value proposition for the group, for growing life business, for growing protection and health business, and for growing our asset management business. In this way, I want to hand over to Manny Roman and the high performance team of PIMCO. But before I'm doing this, I really want to thank the team of Allianz Leben for their technical excellence, for their know-how, for them driving innovation that really makes the difference. Thank you very much. And many, it's your turn.